Hi folks, today I am going to show you how to do a stock Diet Pie install of Plex Sonar Radar and Transmission on a Rock 64. So here I am, I'm going to be downloading the file from Diet Pie. And you can see the files just finishing up. And once it's done, uh, go into the directory, double click on the 7z file. It will expand if you're running a Mac. Click into the subdirectory, insert a micro SD card into the slot on your MacBook Pro or whatever device you're using. And we're going to be using the Etcher software for this. In Etcher, we select the image, and that is going to be, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of cutting this tight here, so unfortunately you're not going to see the full left side of the navigation window here, but believe me, I'm selecting the .img file for Diet Pie. It automatically selects the SD card, and you click to flash and enter your password that you use to log into the computer with. Etcher is cross-platform. It runs Windows, Mac, and PC. If you like these videos and want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash flyingrich or flyingrich.com, and I'll have links there. And I'd like to support my patrons, Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Seer, Matt Champ, Token Linux Guy, and Ian Fox. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Also, if you like hearing talk about mini PCs and want to learn more about it, go to podnuts.com slash mini PC, and I do a podcast there. Okay, the flash is complete, and so we'll pull the micro SD card out of the slot and insert it into the Rock 64 with those cooling fans on it and plug the power in and get those fans spinning, get the thing powered up. So when the screen boots, eventually it will come up to a login. Your login is going to be root, and the password is diet pie. So root is the username that you're going to use to log in with, and then diet pie is the password. Now I'm just doing this to bring it up on the screen here just to show you what it looks like on first boot if you're directly plugged into it. I'm going to do the rest of the configuration on my Mac and do a screen capture on that just so you have better resolution. Now on the other screen we got the IP address. You can get this from your router if you have a better router or a more modern router and I'm just pinging it to show you that it exists. Now I'm going to SSH into it. So you SSH space root at and the IP address. Hit enter. Click yes to add it into uh, your known host file and you get the banner you got a consent click OK and it's just going to check that it's up to date and if it's up to date you're going to get the screen to do the install now I'm going to select a couple of things here I'm going to select Plex and as you see me ham-handedly poke through up oh, I did get it right away on that time maybe it's next time transmission sonar radar sync thing and there's numbers next to these and there's a reason for that and I'm going to select SSH. So once you're done with that I like the SSH server not the drop bear and just go down to install click OK. We got an error about space, so the root file system didn't expand, and you can fix that by resize underscore rootfs.sh, hit enter, and it's going to do all of this immediate, uh, magically, uh, automatically, that was the word. And I'm just checking the file size with the df space dash h, that's disk file, and dash h is human, so it gives it in like gigs and megs with the m and the g suffix. I'm going to reboot just for good cause because if we redid the file system here I'm pinging it again I'm going to SSH into it 
and I have to edit the known host file because it has a different key because we went from drop bear to the open SSH. Control V brings you to the bottom when you're doing nano. Control K removes the line. Control O outputs the line. Control X exits you out. And I accept by yes. Enter the password, which is dietpy. And now I got a consent, and I'm going to run this fast. I'm going to select Plex. I missed Plex. There's Plex. Number 42, which is the answer. And then we want radar, sonar. Oh, I went past it, went past it, went past it. I'm going to go back, and there it is. Sonar, radar. Come on, sync thing. Pick sync thing. Oh, transmission. Sync thing. You passed it. You passed it again. Back to the sync thing. Really. Just pick sync thing. Find it. Find it. There it is. There, right there. Okay, thank you. And then I'm going to do NFS, tab to click OK. Scroll on down to install, and from here on in, we're going to run it at 20x speed. And just like I told you before, go to flyingrich.com. It's my social media hub. You can see the podcast I'm on, like the Linux Link Tech Show, uh, Podnuts Mini PC Show. That's at podnuts.com. And I want to thank the guys at DietPi for all the super fantastic hard work they do because. Diet Pie is amazing. That is my go-to distro because you just check a box and it installs. And things like sonar and radar are very hard to install uh, without Diet Pie. So really super distro. And, and like I said, that's my go-to distro. I'm also liking the Pine Rock 64. I think this will have more potential as time goes on as the drivers or for distributions, ARM distributions are specifically designed for it. It definitely, it has more features than I'm using. I love the gigabit ethernet, USB 3.0. It's got EMMC on it, you know, optional. You got to buy the card, but the boot is super fast, even with a micro SD card. Okay, we're coming up on the finish here. And it's going to get to the point where it's going to ask me for locale information. So you click OK and select your locale. So it's going to be EN, US, UTF-8. Then I'm going to do time zone. I'm looking, some distros allow you to select particular towns. And uh, this, when you say Americas, it's, or America, it considers everything in this hemisphere as America, as opposed to the United States of America. And I was hoping to find something like Palm Beach, because I live in Palm Beach County, but that's not there. So I'm going to go back down to U.S. and just select Eastern. And my wife complains it's Eastern and not Eastern. It's Eastern. Eastern. Yep, there it is. And then I'm just going to select a keyboard and I'm going to make sure uh, different countries have different keyboard layouts. So that's why you're doing this. It's not exactly so much as the brand keyboard that you're using. I probably could get away with just selecting the generic 105 key in US, but I'm going to select the Logitech cordless desktop, and it's not showing English US. So I'm going to select other. And then it brought me back here. All right, and I'm going to select, oh, I click cancel, that's why. All right, so I'm looking for English US, which is under UK, and now it's up top. And I can select it, 
and I'm just going to accept all the defaults. Hopefully they're right. For the most part, I don't use a keyboard plugged into the device itself. I just SSH in. Your mileage may vary. You may want to use a distro where you actually have a desktop. Uh, Diet Pi, I don't do that with. Most of my Pi devices, I use headless. So I just SSH into them over the network. The Rock 64 does not have onboard Wi-Fi, so you would have to get a Wi-Fi dongle for that to work. But for the most part, I just plug it in. I, I want that gig speed and the gig speed straight to my switch or router. Alrighty, so we're done with the installation here. And it rebooted. And I'm just doing a ping again to see when the interface comes up. Because if you were doing this headless, that would be the only way you would know, or probably the simplest way to find out whether the it has come up from a reboot. Once I get a ping back, I'm gonna do a control C to stop the ping. In the Mac world, uh, it pings continuously in now I'm going to SSH root at the IP address, and DietPi is the password because I didn't change it. And, oh, here. So if you don't put slash web in, you're going to get that screen, which isn't too friendly. So I'm just showing you we got Plex running. And it's going to bring you to, you want to claim the Plex server, and it's a different IP address. You can see it's app.plex. And here I'm just going to type the address in again, and I'm going to put in sonar, the port for sonar, which is 8989, and sonar comes up. So you can see that's there. You're going to have icons across the top if you drag it wider, which I do a little bit later. And here I'm going to type the port in for transmission. Username is root, not dietpi. Dietpi is the password, so i got to go back and fix that. So it's root dietpi. Not Groot, but root. Okay, so we got transmission running, go away. Just showing you that works. And now we're going to delete that, and I'm going to type in the port for radar. And once you drag the screen wider, because I just have a very narrow screen here, you're going to see all of the features, which I, I didn't do yet, but I'm going to do. There it is. So you can see all of the features here for configuration. The configuration for radar and sonar are identical. And thanks for watching. Please give this a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, share. I greatly appreciate you viewing this video and let me know if you have any questions in the future.